international trade transactions any trade transaction requires movement of goods movement of funds okay payment of goods and the movement of goods and money is supported and facilitated by movement of documents so here any trade transaction movement of goods movement of funds and movement of documents so all these things comes under international trade transaction nowadays because of the digitalization the icc international has formulated e u r c that is electronic u r c so now recently they have formulated the guidelines you can see in their icc site also c payment preference of buyers and sellers here in an international transaction movement of goods and payment of money cannot be simultaneous that you know either payment has to be made first by the buyer or goods should be delivered first by the seller the first option is called advance payment and the second option is called open account system okay in the open account system buyer is very happy he receives goods satisfied about the quality quantity and pays either immediately or after selling of goods in local market whereas seller has to be out of pocket till he receives the payment sleepless nights sleepless nights till payment is received will i receive the payment in time will i receive payment in full will i receive payment in at all so here seller is unhappy in open account system on payment system here seller is happy he receives the payment uses funds to manufacture and procure goods gets a better bargain in local market by buying on cash item cash terms gets a dispatches goods and closes the deal what about buyer has to be out of pocket till he receives goods and sells in the local market sleepless nights till goods are received will i receive goods in time will i receive goods of agreed quality and quantity will i receive goods at all here buyer is unhappy way out that is documentary collections exporter ships the goods and entrust the documents of title to goods to a bank who will deliver them to the importer on payment or acceptance so in respect of the documentary credits and letter of credit importer gets his bank to issue a letter of credit in favor of the exporter to make payment irrespective of whether the importer pays or not subject to certain conditions importer is also protected because payment will not be made to the exporter unless the prescribed documents are produced by the exporter counterparty risk now need for icc international chamber of commerce as both buyer and seller are geographically separated not known to each other may talk different languages that's correct and subject to different legal and political systems different currency areas that's why international chamber of commerce the world business organization it was established in 1919 private international organization not a governmental body and paris based main business partner of the united nations and its agencies this icc is primary object icc is primary objectives it 
facilitate the flow of international trade at a time when nationalism and protectionism posed threat to the world trading system set rules and standards that would establish uniformity in practice and universal acceptance icc rules and standards that is international chamber of commerce a rules and standards one is ucp dc 600 uniform customs and practices for documentary credit and urc 522 uniform rules for collection urr 725 uniform rules for bank to bank reimbursement urdg 758 that is uniform rules for demand guarantees in core terms 2000 international commercial terms and isbp 681 international standard banking practice the international best practices have been pooled together and drafted in this document what is uniform rules for collection published by international chamber of commerce in june 1995 now in 2019 they have also circulated e urc guidelines that is electronic uniform rules for collection okay that guidelines also available and circulated through their general brochure 522 the indian banks association the banks spread over the universe are also members of the icc okay documentary collection here you see the it is importer then he is exporter and there is in between there is a contract and exporter will supply the goods and then he will send the documents see and the documents whatever he shipped the goods the documents he will give to the exporters bank then exporters bank will give the documents to the importer bank and the importer bank will ask the importer to make the payment then the importer will go to shipping company and take the goods please see it then the importer bank will make the payment to the exporter bank and exporter bank will make the payment to the exporter so this is mechanics of a documentary collection okay and please note it he will be called as principal who is principal the exporter is principal then here remitting bank the principal's bank is remitting bank just this is presenting bank importers bank and importer is drawee let us have a small discussion what is uniform and best in urc uniform rules for collection the uniform procedure in handling documents by the banks and the standard presumptions guidelines to collecting banks for presenting obtaining acceptance payment and remittance to the remitting bank and the responsibilities of the bank charges interest and expenditure and the best practices made available to bankers it is available some of the guidelines in respect of uniform rules for collection 
the urc contains general provisions and definitions that is article 1 and 2 then form and structure of collections article 4 and form of presentation article 5 to 8 and liabilities and responsibilities article 9 to 15 and payment article 16 to 19 and interest charges and expenses article 20 to 21 other provisions article 22 to 26 okay article 1 defines the application of the urc 522 article 2 defines the different types of collection instructions article 3 identifies the main parties to a collection as the principal the remitting bank collecting bank presenting bank draw etc article 4 form and structure of collections article 4b gives a detailed explanation as to what information should be included in the collection instructions article 5 6 7 and 8 gives details on the procedures relating to the form of presentation article 9 states that banks will act in good faith and exercise reasonable care when handling collection Article 10 excludes the banks from responsibility or liability. Article 11 gives a disclaimer for the acts carried out by an instructed party. Article 13 and 14 disclaim banks from the accuracy of documentation and against any delays or loss of documentation. Article 15 covers force measure which comes from the French definition meaning superior force that is any accident, flights, rights, all these things. Article 16 to 19 gives definition and explanations about payment procedures. Article 20 and 21 relate to payments, interest charges and expenses. Article 22-23 Article 24 states that a bank is not obliged to protest in the event of non-payment or non-acceptance. Article 25 relates to the case of need who is the agent of the exporter resident in the country where the goods have been shipped to. Article 26 states that it is the collecting bank's responsibility and duty to advise the fate of the collection to the bank from whom the collection was received. Two types of collections. One is clean collection. Second one is documentary collection. The collection of financial documents not accompanied by commercial documents. This is called as clean collection. Then what is documentary collection? Collection of financial documents accompanied by commercial documents or collection of commercial documents not accompanied by financial documents it is called as documentary collection protection to banks handling of collection not responsible for acts of an instructed party not responsible for effectiveness or genuineness of documents or authority of person signing on them and not responsible for quantity or quality of goods or even the existence of such goods not responsible for delay or loss in transmission of messages or documents protected in case of force major events and have a right to be paid for any services have a right to be paid for any services and can demand advance payment of such charges the 
some important rules for bank to bank reimbursement uniform rules for bank to bank reimbursement it is also called as urr actually i will give you what are the article one is application second one is definition then reimbursement authorization vs credit honor of your reimbursement claim and responsibility of the issuing bank issuance and receipt of your reimbursement authorization or reimbursement amendment expiry of a reimbursement authorization amendment or cancellation etc reimbursement undertaking standard for a reimbursement claim and processing a reimbursement claim and and duplication of a reimbursement authorization foreign loss and usages disclaimer on the transmission of messages and force major charge force major that is unseen accidents whatever it may be and then charges interest claim or loss of value documentary credit with reimbursement under urr please see it here importer and exporter and in between there is a contract this it and importer will ask issuing bank and he opens the credit this it and with a reimbursement instructions then this is called as letter of credit you can see and letter of credit will be sent to advising bank and advising bank in turn will tell to the lc has been issued to the exporter then here this issuing bank or opening bank will make reimbursement reimbursing bank will advise a reimbursement authorization then here exporter will ship the goods thereafter he will take the documents then the documents will be given to the negotiating bank and he will make the he will take the payment from the negotiated bank then on the basis of on the lc and all these thing the negotiating bank will take the amount from the reimbursing bank by reimbursement claim please see it then the payment will be made to the negotiating bank then the negotiating bank will send the documents to the re uh, issuing bank or opening bank and the opening bank will ask the importer to make the payment then they will give the document to the importer thereafter funds nostro account will be created in the issuing reimbursement bank and here the importer will take the documents and take the goods so this is about the mechanics of documentary credit with reimbursement total 17 articles in respect of urr article 1 application of urr where it is applicable article 2 says definitions you please go through the various definitions article 3 reimbursement authorization against credit article 4 honor of your reimbursement claim article 5 responsibility of issuing bank article 6 issuance and receipt of a reimbursement authorization please go through it article 7 expiry of a reimbursement authorization 
ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಎಮೆಂಡ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಂಬರ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಥರೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಅ ರಿಯಂಬರ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ರಿಯಂಬರ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಎ ರಿಯಂಬರ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಡೂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಂಬರ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಥರೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಫಾರಿನ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೂಸೇಜಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ಲೈಮರ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಸೇಜಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕವರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ let us see the uniform customs and practices for documentary credits ucpdc articles what it contains in brief i will tell you article 1 applicability article 2 parties and process please see parties defined and process is defined here article 3 interpretations just to see here irrevocable presumed signature defined all these things are available in article 3 article 4 credit against contracts just to see article 5 documents vs goods services performances article 6 availability expiry date and place of presentation Article 7, Issuing Bank. Article 8, Defines the Confirming Bank. Article 9, Advising of Credit. Article 10, Some Amendments, you can see. Article 11, Teletransmitted or Pre-Advised or Amended Credits. Article 12, Says about the Nominated Bank. Article 13, Bank to Bank Reimbursements, just to see it. Article 14, Standard for Verification of Documents. Article 15, Complying Presentations. Article 16, Gives details about the discovered documents, waiver and notice. Article 17, About the Original Document. and copies article 18 commercial invoice just to see it article 19 gives the details about the multimodal or combined transport document article 20 says about the bill of lading article 21 non negotiable c way bill please see it Article 22, Charter Party, Bill of Lading. Article 23, Eight Transport Document. Here we will not only supply the goods through ships, we will also supply by planes. Okay. Article 24 says about road, rail, inland waterway, all these guidelines. Article 25. courier postal certificate of posting guidelines are given article 26 clause to transport document please see go through it article 27 about the clean transport document article 28 insurance document 
आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी नाइन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ एक्सपायरी डेट फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन आर्टिकल थर्टी अबाउट द टॉलरेंस ऑफ क्रेडिट अमाउंट क्वांटिटी प्राइस आर डिफाइंड आर गिवन गाइडलाइंस आर्टिकल थर्टी वन पार्शियल ड्राइंग्स शिपमेंट्स आर्टिकल थर्टी टू इनस्टॉलमेंट ड्राइंग्स और शिपमेंट्स आर्टिकल थर्टी थ्री आवर्स ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन आर्टिकल थर्टी फोर डिस्क्लेमर ऑन एफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स प्लीज गो थ्रू इट सर ऑल दीज थिंग्स वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू इन डीलिंग विथ फॉरन एक्सचेंज ट्रेडिंग और ट्रांसक्शन आर्टिकल थर्टी फाइव डिस्क्लेमर ऑन ट्रांसमिशन एंड ट्रांसलेशन आर्टिकल थर्टी सिक्स फोर्स मेजर आर्टिकल थर्टी सेवन डिस्क्लेमर फॉर एक्ट्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्टेड पार्टी आर्टिकल थर्टी एट ट्रांसफरेबल क्रेडिट्स आर्टिकल थर्टी नाइन assignment proceeds so all these things articles in ucpdc if we are dharo with the foreign exchange we should be dharo with these rules and these articles why because every time the transaction requires some article reference so please go through the all these articles okay let us go through the in court terms international commercial terms they will tell definite role of buyer and seller let us go through it let us see the three in court terms with f free carrier then free alongside ship and free on boat okay then four c's let us see the four c's one is cf for cost and freight second one is cpt carriage paid to third one is cif cost insurance and freight and fourth one is cip carries and insurance paid to so all these things you should know let us see the 6d is one is daf delivered at frontier and second one is des delivered at ship then third one is deq delivered at square Que means that is a metal platform where loading and unloading takes place. Then D E Q delivered X Q duty unpaid. The first one is duty paid. Second one is duty unpaid. Then D D U delivered duty unpaid. D D P delivered duty paid. So all these things. you have to know the main motto of the isbp it is consistent with the ucpdc only but it will reduce discrepancies in the documents and it will limit or reduce the eliminations or rejection of documents all these things so all these things let us go through it let us see the international standard banking practice isbp which is called just i go through the all guidelines in a brief okay just here what is isbp this is a combination with ucpdc please note it and then the application and issuance of credit then abbreviations please see the, so many abbreviations certification and declaration corrections and alterations 
dates phrases to signify time on either side of a date or event dates transport documents and expression not defined in ucp 600 meaning under isbp just to see it issuer of documents language misspelling or typing errors multiple pages attachment signatures endorsements etc originals and copies just to see shipping marks signatures just go through it title of documents and combined documents drafts invoice transport document covering at least two different modes freight forwarders full set of originals on board notation place of taking in charge dispatch please note it loading on board and distribution all these guidelines in elaborately they have given here designer shipper and endorsement notify party trans shipment partial shipment mmtd means multi mode transport document clean mmt clean mmtd just go through clean mmtd corrections and alterations freight and additional cost goods covered by more than mmtd bill of lading bill of lading just go through it on board notations ports of loading and ports of discharge geographical area airway bill here what we have to see is we are not only transport the goods through ships we will transport by aeroplane air transport document airports of departure insurance policy certificate declaration under open cover risks to be covered certificate of origin drafts and calculation of maturity date drafts let us see hedging currency risk some of the commonly used products here every exporter or importer should adopt a risk management strategy just then what are the products derivatives are used by hedgers speculators arbitrators let us see and let us go through the distinction between hedging and speculating here derivative products can be otc over the counter and exchange traded products just commonly used products are otc products okay just go through it what are the advantages and what are the otc products one is forward contract and certain option contracts swaps many hybrid contracts just what is forward contract go through it and what is currency options let us see what is swap transaction foreign exchange rates are sensitive to the global condition the rates vary from time to time so that's why the seller and buyer simultaneously buying and selling transactions 
in various markets okay another one is premium and discounts on forward period here depending upon the market conditions the forward rates for currencies may be more than the spot rates or less than the spot rates please go through it this i want to cover export finance and urc urr guidelines a small briefing only but in detail you have to read in icc booklet or icc site okay thank you